Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome everybody. I hope that you're safe, healthy, and hopeful, and that you're fine. I hope that you're in good health and that you're in good health from your own side. So it's my pleasure to meet you today in this new lesson, uh, which is the second part of the vocabulary lesson that we started last time. This video is the first part of the lesson, and this lesson is the second part of the lesson. الدرس الذي بدأناه المتعلق بالمعجم right it has to do with the vocabulary section uh, unit sports so great وحدة الرياضة so today we are uh, today we are going to continue as a follow up let's see the lesson that we started and uh, we'll start with uh, you know, with the following objectives that we are going to meet during this lesson. إليك الأهداف المرجو تحقيقها great خلال هذا الدرس. أولا سنراجع great we are going to review the word items related to sport. نراجع بعض الكلمات المتعلقة بالرياضة كما رأينا ذلك خلال الحصة الفائتة. And then we are going to move to explore and use sport verbs correctly. سنكتشف ونعرف كيف نستعمل بعض أفعال المرتبطة بالرياضة استعمالا صحيحا ومناسبا how to use them correctly and appropriately and then we are going to uh, we hope that by the end of this lesson we'll be able to you know practice and talk a little bit great about sports نأمل أيضا في من خلال أو في نهاية هذا الدرس أن تكون أن نكتسب بعض القدرة على الحديث يعني في موضوع المتعلق بالرياضة. So على بركة الله. Great. So let's start with the first point just as a review of the sport names. So can you give me right now some of the examples of sports that you know or that you have learned during the last session؟ ما هي بعض الأمثلة للرياضات التي تعرفنا عليها خلال الحصة الفائتة؟ Great. Hello, we have here tennis. Very good. Any more example? All right, handball. Basketball. Yes, another example. Yes, boxing. Very good. Can you give me more examples? Yes, yeah, swimming. Very good. Weightlifting. Yes, good. We got running. Yes. Another example, football or what we call soccer. This is a very soccer is a very common uh, word for football in the uh, uh, in America, right? Okay, good. Uh, so, what about right now the classification uh, that we have made? Great. What type of sports are there? Very good. Yeah, we got individual sports, right? Sports that are uh, performed by the individual alone, right? And very good. There are what we call team sports. Very good. Yes. Let's move right now. We got uh, as a revision again, uh, or rather as a follow-up of what we have learned. Uh, when talking about about sports, when talking about sports, we usually use certain verbs. الأفعال الأساسية هذه الأفعال your attention we call them sports verbs okay so sports verbs there are three main important uh, verbs I want to introduce here which are play do and then go of course when talking about sports verbs or verbs of action in a way there are so many they are endless great يعني الأفعال مرتبطة بالرياضة لا نهاية لها طبعا كثيرة جدا right? ولكن نركز على ما عندنا ها هنا في المقرر الدراسي right? عندنا ثلاث أفعال أساسية مطالب منك معرفتها في المستوى الابتدائي في تعلم اللغة الإنجليزية وحتى المستوى المقبل يعني في السنة الأولى ثانوي right? during the common core and as well as in the third year middle school okay? so we got here play Play for معناها العام تعني لعب يا لعب right and then we have here do do the verb to do بمعنى فعل فعل right and then we have here go بمعنى ذهب right but of course when it comes to uh, you know sports uh, of course they have uh, right فإن المعنى الجامع لهذه الرياضات هي أنها مارسة ولا لعبة 
آه اللعبه المعينه right? but of course uh, each each sport has got a certain appropriate verb right كل رياضه من هذه الرياضات التي عندنا مثلا right على يمينها هنا on the right side لها فعل يناسبها اوكي ليس كل الرياضات يصلح معها الفعل يصلح معها الفعل بلاي مثلا فعل لعب right? ولكن ثم رياضات in which are the English speakers متكلم اللغة الإنجليزية الأمر يتعلق باستعمال بالاستعمال اللغوي uh, there are sports in which uh, with which they can say play others they don't say play but they say do and then others they say go ولكن ما الفرق بين آه هذه الاستعمالات ما القاعده الاساسيه اوكي لا سو ليت اس دو ذا فالوينغ تاسك اند اند ان ذا اند ويل كم اب وذ ذا رو اوكي نقوم بالمهمه آه التي عندنا الان نحاول ان آه نكهن ونفكر ونخمن ماذا عسى يكون الفعل المناسب لكل رياضه which uh, verb is appropriate to what uh, you know sports ثم في نهاية المطاف نخلص إلى القاعدة and then we'll come up with the rule okay? let's start here with the, with the, uh, the word tennis Hello, so what do you say here play tennis or do tennis or go tennis mm -hmm. can you guess very good here we say play we say play tennis good how about gymnastics do we say play gymnastics you know gymnastics of course in the uh, Uh, daily English, we say the uh, just the gym in the informal English, the gym. Also, do we say play, do or go? Very good. Yes, we say do gymnastics, handball. We say play, do or go. Yes, we say play handball, soccer. Very good. We say play soccer, swimming. Yes, very good. We see here, I go swimming. We don't say play or do swimming. We say I go. I go swimming. Great. Right. Soccer. We have already the word soccer. It has been repeated. No problem. Let's move on to skiing. Skiing. Very good. You see here, I go skiing. G uh, baseball. Very good. I say, I play baseball. How about judo? Judo, taekwondo, karate. Very good. I say, I do judo. Boxing. It's the same. I do boxing. How about cycling? Very good. It's just like swimming and skiing. We say here, I go cycling. What about weight lifting? رياضة حمل الأثقال. Weight lifting. It's just like gymnastic. We see here. I do weight lifting. Who about hunting? ماذا عن الصيد? Hunting. Very good. I see here. I go hunting. And then hockey. Very good. Yes. We see here. I play hockey. Now, let's observe right now the words or the point of intersection between all the words within each category. ما نقطة تقاطع يا ترى بين الكلمات داخل كل فئة معجمية. Let's start here with play. We got here I play tennis. I play handball. I play soccer or football. We say soccer or football. I play baseball. I play hockey. You got here in all these sports that we have here. في جميع الرياضات التي عندنا هنا, we got there is there is a ball. Great. ثم تا كرة. ثم تا كرة. في tennis, in tennis, when talking about tennis, there is a ball, right? Uh, when talking about handball, رياضة كرة اليد. ثم تا كرة, right? Soccer or football, there is a ball. Baseball. It's there, right? Hockey, أيضاً في رياضة الهاكي ثم تكرة. فإذاً, right? When there is, when there is a ball, uh, in a sport, we usually say play, right? فإن الفعل المناسب هو كلمة play هو الفعل play مع الرياضات التي تتوفر فيها الكرة, right? Very good. إذاً هذه قاعدة. 
فنحفظها جيدا let's move on right now to the second category do I see here I do gymnastic I do judo I do boxing weight I do weight lifting if you notice here the gymnastics right the judo right boxing weight lifting these are sports that involve a physical activity and that are usually performed indoors right how do you that for the في الغالب ما نقوم بها داخل القاعة وتكون تعبر عن نشاط بدني حركي وأحيانا قتالي أوكي؟ سو الفنون القتالية خاصة جايت وبعض الفنون الحركية كالجيمناستكس والجريت بوكسين والملاكمة ويت ليفتين حملة أثقال هذه الرياضات التي فيها نشاط بدني ونقوم بها في الغالب داخل القاعات جايت uh these are in most of the time great uh use it with the verb do هذه الرياضات غالبا ما تستعمل مع يستعمل معها ويناسبها الفعل do right okay اذا فيها نشاط حركي بدني great and mostly indoor right let's move right now to the last category which is go if you notice here the verb, uh, the nouns that we have, we see here I go swimming, I go skiing, I go cycling, I go hunting. Mulahada shakliya, one important observation or remark related to the form is that all these sports ends in ing. Other riyadat, mulahada shakliya, tantahi jamiuha, adil kalimat bi thalath haruf. ing. Faidan hadi riyadat. لما uh, هذا من جهه great uh, تنتهي او تتاخر great بثلاث حروف اي ان جي great ثم شيء اخر اساسي something else very important is that these sports are usually performed outdoors great we see here swimming i go swimming maybe in the river maybe uh, in the beach great i go skiing here great outside great of course in the mountains and so on cycling great uh, outside, great, right, and then hunting, going hunting, and so on. So, these are activities that we usually do outside, great, right, outdoors, and uh, maybe for and usually for the sake of maybe tourism or uh, relaxation and recreation, great. For the we do these activities for the sake of tourism or recreation, so on. So, what is the delay in the form? Great, it ends with three letters of the alphabet: I, N, G. Like these activities, such sports are usually used with the verb uh, go, right? فإذا آمل أن تكون هذه القاعدة واضحة فيما يتعلق باستعمال كل فعل على حدة والرياضات التي تناسب كل فعل كتذكير as a recapitulation we use play نستعمل كلمة play فعل play with uh, verbs that involve uh, with uh, you know with a sports that involve a ball right مع الرياضات التي uh, نجد فيها كرة right we use the verb do with ver with sports that involve uh, you know an action and the physical activity مع رياضات فيها نشاط حركي قتالي ربما right ونشاط بدني عموما and we use go with sports that ends in ing مع رياضات تنتهي ب ing طبعا باستثناء بعض الكلمات great من قبيل boxing and weight lifting هذه great فيها نشاط بدني we say uh, حركي قتالي we say do right and then skiing cycling hunting great كل هذه الجامعة المشترك إذا بين هذه ال ال great الرياضات great is that the end تنتهي the end in ing and they are mostly done outdoors okay this is generally because we cannot of course have specific uh, deterministic features great لا يمكن طبعا الحسم في معايير محدده ولكن الحاسم ها هنا ليس المقياس او القياس great او القاعده نحاول قدر الامكان ان نعطي قاعده عامه ولكن ثمه استثناءات وثمه يعني امور نعتمد فيها الاستعمال اساسا right the use and what the and how the english speakers use the language okay good 
Right, so let's move right now to speaking activity and we are going to talk a little bit about sports, okay? We got here two people or two students, we got Amin and then another one called Bob. There is a dialogue between Amin and Bob about sports. So Amin says, or rather Bob says, uh, Hi Amin, how are you? Hi Bob. I am very well, thanks. How about you? I'm all right, thanks. Well, can I ask you a question, I mean? Yeah, sure. What's your favorite sport? Oh, I'm crazy about football. Really? I like football too. I usually play football with my friends in the sports club. إذا هذا حوار يجسد حديثا أو محادثة جريت بين بوب وأمين حول موضوع الرياضة خاصة ما يتعلق بالسبورت فايبريت يعني المفضلات ما يفضله الشخص من رياضات معينة أوكي okay. so I'm going to read the dialogue again uh, and then explain some words and then I'm going to uh, you know to uh, have a dialogue with you, okay? To ask you, uh, right? You got to respond to, to play the role of Amin or Bob and so on and then respond to the questions, okay? Let's reread and explain some important words in the dialogue so that we can understand what the dialogue is about. Hi, Amin, how are you? I think this is very clear to you. Hi, Bob, I'm very well. It means I am very, I am fine, I am very good, I am great and so on, good. How about you? It means simply and you. What ends? I am all right, thanks. I am all right. It's the same. I am very well. I am thanks. I am awesome. What? Well, well, had عبارة of course to it's a gap filler عبارة نملأ بها الفراغ. Right. Well, تاني حسنا. Right. Well, you know, right. هذه كل عبارات لي ملأ الفراغ. Right. Can I ask you a question? هل بإمكاني أن أسألك سؤالا؟ I mean, great. Right? Yeah, sure. بالطبع, yes. It means yes. What's your favorite sport? It means which sport or what sport do you like? Uh, oh, I am crazy about football. I am crazy. It means I, uh, I like something very much. Okay? I am crazy. I am mad about something. It means I am... <coughs> I am passionate about it. I like it very much. أحب يعني بالدارجة أنا كان قول أنا كان حماق على الحاجة معينة. It means يعني أنا أحب وحبا جما وشديدا. Guys, التاع حبا لا التاع حبا لا. Very really. I like really صحيح. I like football too. Too here تعني means. Also, or as well, I usually play football with my friends in the sports club. أنا في الغالب بما ألعب كرة القدم مع صديقاتي في نادي الرياضة. Good. Now that we have now that we have understood the uh, the dialogue, let's go back right now, and then you got to play the role the role of Amin. Or Amina anyway, it doesn't matter what the name is about, but what matters is that I want you to answer the questions that Bob uh, asks. Okay, أريدك أن تجيب على الأسئلة التي طرحها Bob واحدة تلو الأخرى. Hi Amin, or hi Ahmed, or hi Omar, or hi Layla, hi Amina, hi Sarah, المستمع الكريم Grace أو المتفرج على هذا الدرس. أريدك أن تجيب. Yes, hi. How are you? I am all right, thanks. Well, can I ask you a question? What's your favorite sport? Really? I like that too. I usually play it with my friends in the sports club. That's it. We have come to the end of this lesson. I hope that you understood 
uh, the basic, uh, that you have met the basic objectives uh, during uh, of this lesson, that you have uh, learned how to use the sports verbs appropriately and correctly, and that you have, uh, uh, you know, learned some basic questions to ask about fa sports favorites and so on and talk a little bit about sports. Play and replay this video again and again. Try to take notes. خذ نقاطا وسجل ما يمكن تسجيله. Great. وحاول أن تراجع وتعمل على تشغيل الفيديو مرة وأخرى حتى تأخذ وتتعلم منه القدر يعني ما استطعت إلى ذلك سبيلا. Great. Thank you very much, and I hope that you're safe again, and I hope that you're fine. And I wish you all the best and see you next time, inshallah, in a new lesson. Thank you very much. All the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa